Hey guys, Noel and Santino here for an exciting video game review for the video game section of the Noel Comics YouTube channel. Uh, today we will be reviewing uh, yet another game in the Resident Evil series. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing Resident Evil 4 on the PlayStation 2. Uh, not on the PlayStation 4. We're going to be playing the, uh, the PlayStation 2 version. Uh, and this game is uh, Resident Evil Reinvented. What does that mean? No more tank controls, more action, but still survival horror fun and excitement um, with uh, all of your favorite Resident Evil characters. Remember uh, how in Code Veronica uh, we played as Claire uh, from Resident Evil 2? Well, now we're going to play as Leon. Which, fun enough, is uh, my name backwards. This is uh, true. N-O-E-L backwards is L-E-O-N, which spells Leon, and Leon's back. Uh, although, kind of anticlimactically, uh, the, the Umbrella Corporation uh, is no longer around because of uh, stock problems. I have been playing Resident Evil 4 Unlimited on something that... Isn't uh, that on the Philips CDI, Santino? Resident Evil 4 Unlimited on the Philips it, CDI? Or the it's actually a Philips CDI made by Sony because they work with Sony. Wow, that is some darn corporate entanglements so, right there. So, by the way, um, it, it, this game, I, I love this game. I've said this because um, this game brought back the whole entire Resident Evil cast. No, oh, yeah, they're they're all there. Only in the Philips CDI version, though. Yeah. Some of them are missing. There's no Chris or Jill in this well, one for the PS2. Well, that, but if you do want the Philips CDI version well, of this you, game, you, 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 you get the that, whole cast back, and it's well, very special. Got, this is Resident Evil 4 on the PS2. Here we go. Uh, I can't wait to play Final Fantasy 15 on the Philips CDI. I would totally buy that. It's actually, but it's not as big as the one on the PS5. Well, I mean, the Philips CDI doesn't quite have the power of the PS5, but what it lacks in power, it makes up in charm. Uh, we can play, uh, once we beat this, you go through, plays Leon, and once you beat with Leon, you can play Ada's uh, point of view of the story uh, in a game called Separate Ways, which is considerably shorter. That's only about a three-hour game as opposed to the 18-hour game uh, or so you'd play with Leon. There's a mini-game called Assignment Ada, uh, where you basically are Ada running around uh, grabbing virus samples and shooting people zombie things. Uh, and then the Mercenaries, which is kind of a game you play where you kind of try to kill as many zombies uh, in two minutes. as you, uh, And then with each... Uh, zombie uh, killing spree. If you get a certain rank, you'll unlock different characters to run around as. Uh, and then you can uh, also just uh, read some story and look at some movies. Um, we're going to get a little sample gameplay from Leon here. Uh, unlike, oh, by the way, because I'm playing this on an extra mode, Leon uh, now has uh, kind of a gangster costume. Um, now, I am playing this with a code breaker. Uh, so I have infinite ammo. That's how I beat the game. I find it uh, very fun to yeah, kind of play I, with infinite ammo. What's yeah, up, Santino? I, I tried to do it where he said gangster. Tried to go gangster This gangster's paradise. Very good. Very good. Um, so no tank controls. I can fully use the analog. Uh, this is something uh, that the Dreamcast decided not to do with Code Veronica. Um, they kept the tank controls, and it is a totally different feel for the game. Uh, not having the tank controls. It plays much more like an action game than a survival horror game. But there are a lot of exploration elements to this game. Uh, you're going to be solving some puzzles. Not there's more. I think they're more simplistic puzzles than in previous uh, Resident Evil games. Also very helpful for me, who has no sense of direction, is the map. You can uh, pan out here. There's your uh, checkpoint there. You want to go toward the red dot. And then sometimes you'll also have stars for treasure and whatnot. <laughs> well, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about this here. Now, again, um, if you want the experience of uh, survival, uh, where you're, like, running out of ammo, and I gotta tell you this, too, um, these townspeople can take a lot of damage. Uh, they're not like the zombies in the original Resident Evil. Uh, so I also, uh, I have uh, another code on that gives me one-shot kills. 
So I don't have infinite health. Uh, you can kind of enhance the game with your cheating device for whatever level of relaxation and enjoyment necessary, but it will take uh, some aiming and some analytical skills. So guys, it just um, depends on how much action and how much... Whoa! There we go. They got an axe. Ah! There we go. Come again. So guys, by the way... Um... You also, one second, Santino. Uh, you got to mix some herbs here and other Resident Evils. You did this too. Red and yellow. And then we're going to add some green to that. And now uh, we're going to use it. And our health goes up. There we go. And infinite... Um, Ooh, angry townspeople. And infinite fist aid spray. Also, there's other ways to full heal you. All I like to use is fist aid spray. Uh-huh. That's true. So what the way it is... Bunny hop while you're in fist aid spray, and after the guy, he does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. You can use the fist, you can do the way you're using fist aid spray, stay safe, and then, and then after a bit, follow the game. You can use his side, you can use his sidekick of, you can use the sidekick. Oh, goody, a chainsaw. Um, now, uh, you'll notice here, since I'm playing this after beating the game, and I have that fun uh, Al Capone costume, um, it's not actually working in the cutscenes here, um, I, so it kind of cuts back to Leon's regular costume, uh, in the cutscenes, and now all of a sudden I'm dressed up like a 1920s gangster. Uh, by the way, I should say, if, there you go, um, it, very good, very good. Um, I should also say, um, <clears throat> after you beat the game and you get enough money, uh, you can buy something called the Chicago Typewriter, which allows you to basically play the game how I'm playing it now with the Code Breaker. Uh, it's a machine gun with infinite ammo, which, again, I just find enjoyable to play. Now, you'll notice that Ada is ringing the church bell here, but we don't know that it's Ada. I know that it's Ada because I beat the game, and then I also played the uh, side quest game called Separate Ways. Uh, the song was not uh, name inspired by the Journey song, I'm assuming. Um, anyway, uh, so we see this action-packed portion of the game here. We're running around with Leon. We're blasting people with various types of weapons here. Um, now I want to show you, uh, after you beat the game, Separate Ways opens up, and uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, the other half of that situation with the Ada game, and uh, we're going to check that out. Watch my Resident Evil where I beat the game only... Second, Santino, uh, there's uh, no ink ribbons in this game either. That's a big shift. And we also have this weird uh, hobo ninja zombie guy who sells us weapons here. But go on, Santino. I didn't mean to interrupt. So, this is actually a different game that's actually a bit more happy. Except for the final boss. We can, uh, rather than having uh, treasure chests, we have briefcases. We can buy bigger briefcases, too. Um, a bit more happy, except for the final boss. It's Super Mario RPG. No, we did just review Super Mario RPG. Yep, there's, there's so, Chicago typewriter there. So I did a challenge by only using Mario and Super Mario RPG. Then I only using Mario, Gina. I only using Mario, Bowser, and, and Mario. Uh-huh. Mario, Bowser, and Mario. Which is, was a challenge. Where are they? And you might be wondering why I did not use Gino. It's because he... It's because Lots of he, ammo you can uh, it's take. because if you're lucky, you can get a 999 attack, which is a one-shot kill. And I don't want that game to be that easy, so I switched it up to Bowser. Even though he has better, like... A, so what I'm doing here, um, sorry to interrupt, Santino, I'm, uh, I, I have to get to the church during the church bell, because we all noticed that Leanne was having some issues with zombies, um, so Ada, you know, ran and rang the church bell here, and this is how Ada runs and finds the church bell. True story. Also, also guys, I did, also guys, to make Ada, just, I know it's pretty easy, because it's only three hours. Yep, Ada's only like three hours. Uh, now we gotta get uh, that little uh, uh, green uh, gem there, that chaos emerald, as Sonic would call it. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, it's gonna be important for a puzzle we gotta solve here. Yeah, wait in the game. Yep. Yep, actually, like right now in the game. 
uh, read cat's eye. Now, uh, there's a lot of things that get dropped here, so it really does pick up the make the game the game a lot more zippy than previous installments. For unlimited want some brand new guns. Nice. Now, Assignment Ada has no save points. It's just a, a little quick mini game side story. It will require some exploration uh, and analysis. And this was included in the GameCube version of the game, from what I hear, although I've never played the GameCube version. Here's Wesker. Have you retrieved? Because you don't have it, obviously. No, I don't. I should buy it. Some kind of trouble. It's probably Seven. not going to be as good, though. No, nah, I think the uh, PS2 version's got more stuff. No. No, I know. I'll be there. So the whole thing. Nice about, graphics here. So by the way, guys, the whole thing about Ada is that her, her, her back of her neck was like ways around and so. And, yes. And it can think that there's a guy behind. When she wears her, her red dress, she has this black ribbon that kind of blows in the wind and sometimes you think it's a zombie out of the corner of your eye it's a little uh, disorienting here hey guys how's it going yeah. so you know it's funny because they're not like actual like totally zombies so you think like rpg noel is like oh let me go talk to these townspeople it's like no don't do that they're trying to kill you with a chainsaw so you know climb up here do, 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 do. Wee. yeah she flips that leg over I have some good reflexes. Now, what I'm going to have to do in this mini game here is I'm going to have to infiltrate uh, one of the bases here of this sinister uh, uh, cult, the uh, Los Illuminados. Not to be also, confirmed the with way, the Illuminati. Do, 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 do. Also, by the way. So, the way. one thing I should know is uh, there are quick time events in this game here. Sometimes. You'll have to hit buttons at certain points in time, and whoa, I missed that guy there. And by the way, guys, if you watched my 100% Let's Play Dead Space, you know that I should have just stayed up there. Like that's what I like to do is I like to get a good position and just stay up there and pick people off. But you know, I'm playing this a little more haphazardly for the review. Dang, or Santino, Joe is the only one that. Does not catch it and helps you. Yeah. Actually, no. We're doing a quick time event, which actually took me forever. Oh, right, Daddy. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Die, 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 die. And then, guess what happened? I told you that. Nice, man. I know. But you have to see he's hiding two minutes. Yes, I do. How many zombies do you have to see? I gotta get as many as I can here. But if you get all of them? Uh, if I get a lot of them, I get to unlock a new character here. Ah, oh, I got a three. Darn it. Ah, oh, well. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That is Resident Evil 4 on the Sony PlayStation 2. Also, guys. Exciting, exciting game. Also, guys. What is it, Santino? Be Make sure to be on the lookout for Resident Evil 4 Unlimited on... The Philips CDI. And the Philips CDI, which is coming out on the day of Halloween. All right, well, we got we to gotta be on the lookout for that, the Philips CDI version of Resident Evil 4, which Santino got an advanced copy of, because he's that good of a YouTuber, right? And he's also friends with the guy who plays Mr. X. In Resident Evil 2. All right, well, there you have it, guys. On a scale of 1 to 10, we give this game a 700. Uh, until next time, guys, my you, name's Noel. This is Santino. I would, and we will see you in the very near future for more video game review action on the Noel Comics YouTube channel. Bye-bye. I'm Liberty Punch!